Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am smiling, there's laundry going, I'm filming on top of a suitcase and that can only mean one thing and that is we are packing and prepping for Walt Disney World. This is my pack and prep with me fall edition. We are going towards the end of October so if you are going to Walt Disney World towards the cooler months of the year, October, November, December, January, February, this video is for you. So I'm so glad you're here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kayla. I am a wife, mom, and lover of all things Disney and travel. I share Disney travel and lifestyle content here on my channel. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, I hope you'll stick around, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you know when our trip vlogs from this uh, trip go live as well as some more fun and exciting lifestyle content that I have coming and be sure to give this video a thumbs up while you're watching if you enjoy it and you found it helpful. It really does help support my channel. But without further ado, let's talk about what I am packing for our fall trip to Walt Disney World. You guys, fall is honestly one of my favorite times to visit Walt Disney World. The cooler temperatures, somewhat lower crowd sizes, um, just the atmosphere, the decorations. Oh, it just, I love fall anyways, but fall in Walt Disney World is just so special. So before we get into all of the packing stuff, I thought I would tell you a little bit about our trip. That way you kind of have an idea of what we are planning for and what kind of goes into my thought process of what to bring on our trip. So our trip is going to be for three nights. So we're just doing a short trip. We, our son is now in school and so we are starting to travel around his school schedule. Prior to him going to school, we could really go to Disney whenever we wanted so long as it coordinated with my husband's work schedule and of course my work schedule as well. But now that we are have him in school, um, I really want to try and keep him in school as much as possible for consistency. Um, plus, he just absolutely, he absolutely loves school, you guys. So um, we are starting to plan our trips around his school calendar. Um, and I know a lot of you guys out there are doing that as well. And so I'm really excited for this new chapter of my channel where I am filming content that relates to people who are traveling on a school schedule and having to go during the busier times of year. We are going for three nights um, and we drive to Walt Disney World. So I want to preface this packing videos um, with that we are driving so we will have our own vehicle but I'm going to be sprinkling in tips and tricks as well if you are flying because um, I only pack a carry-on suitcase and that holds the clothes for both my son and myself so I've gotten pretty good at this minimalist packing strategy so I'm excited to share it with you guys we are driving down we get up bright and early we do live in Florida so our um, our travel time is about six hours. Um, if we didn't make a bunch of stops, it would probably be more like five hours. But with a little one, of course, you're stopping multiple times, and you should anyway. Stop, get out, stretch your legs, let them get some wiggles out. Um, and so our travel time is about six hours. So we are going to be getting to Walt Disney World around... Um, probably early afternoon, I would say. And yeah, so the first day we really just like to get in, enjoy our resort, get checked in. I film room tours, so stay tuned. I'm not gonna share where we're staying just yet, um, but if you've been following me over on Instagram, you already know because I update my uh, stories daily while we are traveling. So be sure if you're not already that you go ahead um, and follow me over on Instagram. I will have that linked down below below and yeah so once we get in and get checked in then we'll have two full days the next day to explore parks other resorts things of that nature I'm not giving too much away I want you guys to stay tuned for the vlogs because I really like I said I'm just so excited for this trip we do have a more laid-back style to our 
Disney travel um, because of some of the state mistakes that we made on our first trip with our son, you know, and we've just learned so much. So we have a laid back travel style when it comes to Disney and I'm excited to share that with you guys. So that's kind of a general idea of our itinerary for this trip. So I'm packing for three nights, four-ish days at Walt Disney World. And yeah, I, I do have packing lists that I have created for us. Um, so if you would be interested in possibly supporting my channel by, you know, downloading those, um, packing list let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would be interested in because I have definitely considered just making a digital copy that you guys could download and utilize for your trips as well um, traveling with your little ones is a journey I learn something new every time we go to Walt Disney World and I'm just excited to pass along that knowledge to you so now in Florida in October November December, January, February, it is pretty cool in the mornings. Then it warms up during the day. And then again, when the sun goes down, it gets pretty cool in the evenings. So you want to plan obviously for the weather as well. Um, and so we'll talk a little bit about how I am planning to make sure that we have enough clothes for cool and warm temperatures without having to pack an entire closet, right? Because nobody wants to have to bring a wardrobe of a warm clothes and a wardrobe of cool clothes. So we're going to talk about that. And then I am going to talk about a little bit about what I bring for myself. I'll probably walk you guys through my toiletry bag um, and just some other fun tips and tricks along the way. So enough talking, Kayla. Let's get packing because we are leaving. Today is Monday and we leave Thursday. So we are leaving soon and I have got to get stuff packed. All right, guys. So I've gotten a little bit into the packing and I wanted to kind of pause and just before I got too far and kind of walk you through some things. So again, I just take a carry on suitcase. So it's not a full size suitcase. This is a carry on suitcase. One of the things that I really like about the suitcase that I have, I don't know if I can find these, you guys but I mean, a lot of suitcases have them, is this expandable layer. So it zips up um, and you can unzip it and it kind of gives you some more room. Yeah, it's a huge difference, right? So um, if you can find a suitcase that does have an expandable layer like this, definitely recommend it. The next thing I'm gonna recommend are packing cubes. You got, If you have been <laughs> a part of my channel for any length of time, you know that I am obsessed with packing cubes and I will leave these linked down below. It is an affiliate link. So um, if you do decide to support my channel by using the affiliate link, thank you so much. Um, but I did wanna let you guys know that I do make a very small commission if you guys use my links. So I do like to be very transparent about that. Um, I cannot recommend them enough though. They help keep me organized. You guys, I can pack so much in these packing cubes. And the best part is I to unpack when we get to the resort so that we're not living out of our suitcase. I will literally just lift this out of the suitcase and set it in a drawer. So, um, cannot recommend them enough, especially for split stays. So if you're gonna be staying at more than one resort, these are a game changer for that. So just wanted to mention that. Um, what I did is I packed three pairs of my son's underwear per day. Accidents happen. Like I said, we've never done this before, so without diapers. So I packed three underwear per day. And then I've packed two outfits per day. And what I mean by an outfit is a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. So as you can see, I do use the rolling method. Um, it, I just feel like it works the best in terms of getting the most out of your square footage, so to speak. So that is for um, those, you know, warmer days. Um, like I said, it's, we're leaving on Thursday, it's Monday here, and it's been getting up in the 80s. So definitely wanted to make sure I had enough shorts and t-shirts. Now for the cooler mornings, I am taking two different types, uh, two pullovers. So this one has a hood, this one does not, um, but they're just warm, long sleeve. I can put them over his t-shirts so that he can take them 
off when it starts to get warm. So if he wakes up early one morning, we decide to go out um, and get into the parks early. Um, he's got something warm that he can put on over his t-shirts. Next thing that I wanted to be sure to mention is that I'm packing two pairs of pants. So just two, but two pairs of long pants. Again, something that um, I can, if we need to, put them on in the morning and then we can change him out of them and put them on, uh, put on some shorts for him um, for those cooler mornings and vice versa. So let's say we get to the park after his nap at like four or five o'clock and it's still pretty warm, but then the sun goes down and it gets cool. I'll just take a pair of pants to go ahead and put on him. The rest is pretty standard. I do pack two pairs of socks per day. Like I said, I we come back to the hotel for um, nap time and I just really like to be able to put fresh pair of socks on him after his nap because nobody wants to put on sweaty socks, right? <laughs> I do pack nap clothes. Again, that may be a little bit extra, um, but I like to be able to take him out of his park clothes, put on some nap clothes, let him get really good and comfortable for a really good afternoon nap. So just a little tip there that I found really works well for us. And then I am packing two swimsuits for him. I always have one that he can wear and then one that's hanging up to dry. So for those warmer days, he is a water baby. He loves to get in the pool and the splash pad. I've got two, um, two swimsuits for him. So that kind of kind of gives you an, you know, an organizational structure of kind of my thought process. And then the last thing I am going to pack is a, a zip up um, jacket that has a hood. So I think that will be perfect for our three nights in Disney for him. So before I start packing for myself, I realized that I wanted to talk about things that I purchased for this trip. So I'm not a big advocate of purchasing a ton of stuff. Um, sometimes you just have to when you're traveling with little ones, but most of the time what you have will work. And all right, so the first thing that I bought is this, um, I bought it off Amazon, Intex Kids Travel Bed Set. It comes with an air pump, a bag to store it in. What I loved about it is this center part right here will actually come out so I can go ahead and still put a fitted sheet um, around it. The other thing that we purchased, we actually got these yesterday for our son, is a pair of Crocs. Um, I really wanted him to have shoes that he could wear around the pool, around the splash pad that can get wet um, and he found these and absolutely loved them. So we did go ahead and purchase those. And then the other thing I purchased my first set of hokas. I think that's how you say it. I'm not 100% sure. These are the Clifton Nines. I loved how cushiony, cushiony, is that a word? <laughs> they felt, um, and I loved the ankle support back here. So we're gonna try them out. I will keep you posted and let you know how they do. Okay, you guys, as I am putting together my toiletry bag, I wanted to kind of just talk about um, two products. Two products that I absolutely love um, for taking on any trip, but especially Walt Disney World. So the first one is this Super Goop Sheer Screen Mineral Sunscreen. Um, I absolutely love this sunscreen. Um, it's fragrance free, it's mineral. I have very sensitive skin. It has never done me wrong. It wears really well under makeup if you're wanting to wear makeup during your trip. Um, and the other thing that I love about it is it is so easy to apply um, that I use it on my son's face because that is our biggest fight is me putting sunscreen. He's fine with his arms, legs, whatever, but me putting sunscreen on his face and neck is always for some reason just a sticking point with him. But with that one, I can do it so fast <laughs> that it's not a fight. So I wanted to recommend that sunscreen. I love it for myself. I also use it on my son's face and neck. We do use the Babo one. I can link it and this one below for his body, but just to have that ease of application, I love that. And I think it helps too because he sees mommy using it. So he's like, okay, maybe this isn't quite so bad. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is my all-time favorite cleansing balm. So the reason I'm mentioning it is because in Disney, I wear a ton of sunscreen and it's the only thing that I really feel like 
does what it says it's supposed to do and takes the day off, right? It takes off your waterproof mascara. It will take off your sunscreen. It will take off whatever's on your face. It's gonna get in there, it's gonna get it off, and it does that so gently that it's fragrance-free. It's never done me wrong. Now, it is expensive. So what I did was I tried to find a dupe. And I do love CeraVe as a brand and I had read a ton of reviews and they said that this cleansing balm was supposed to be a dupe for the Clinique Take the Day Off. And you guys, while I do agree that it works very similarly, two things that caused me a little bit of heartache. One, I felt like it, I couldn't get it off so I felt like it left like this film on my face that I didn't like. The one thing I cannot get past is the smell. You guys, it smells, it, there's no fragrance, like it's, it's fragrance free, but it smells absolutely awful. It smells terrible. So I, I just, I cannot, I cannot make myself use it. So going back to the Clinique. Now, as you can see, this is a full size. You make a travel size of it. What I forgot is that during the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty sale, they, that Clinique Take the Day Off usually is a part of the sale and it's usually 50% off. So you can get two for the price of one. So when you compare that to a product, yes, it may be less expensive, but it doesn't work as well and it smells terrible. I just went back to my tried and true Clinique Take the Day Off wanted to mention those two things because those are just some tried and true products that I really love to take with me for myself um, for our trips to Disney. Hello you guys, it's Tuesday. We officially leave for Disney on Thursday, so it's a new day. Um, and I just wanted to kick off today by saying hello. I am getting some work done. I've got a few work meetings today, which is so fun. Um, if I haven't already mentioned, I am a travel agent and so I, thoroughly enjoy my job. I love planning trips for others, um, especially Disney trips. So um, I'll leave all of that information below in case you're interested. A little bit of a shameless plug there, but um, today I am, uh, I officially have all of my laundry done. So I'm going to be, and you might hear the sprinklers just went off outside. So if you hear that, that's what's going on. But um, I officially have all my laundry done. So I'm going to be focusing on packing our toiletry bag my and my clothes today um, and just getting a few other odds and ends things together but I will definitely be bringing you along. Hello you guys it is officially the day that <laughs> before we leave for Walt Disney World. Two things are cracking me up this morning. One that I touched base with you guys yesterday and then didn't pack at all. You guys, I had such a busy day with meetings. I had a counseling appointment and then just a lot of work, obviously prepping to be out of town, making sure um, all of my clients are taken care of. Um, I do still work while we travel. Um, that's just the nature of the job, um, but I have the best job in the world, so I don't mind. Um, and yeah, the other thing that's cracking me up, you guys, I have, am still getting used to this camera. So most of my videos have been shot on my phone. And so I'm using a vlogging camera um, and I'm cracking up because I had, I didn't realize that there is like a, a soft face or a beauty filter or something. And it was a thousand percent turned on you guys. I'm not even going to lie. I am cracking up because I was like, man, my skin looks really good. No, 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 no. <laughs> that beauty filter was up on high. So anyways, um, if you notice that I've adjusted it, I'm just cracking up. I had to Google how to fix it. Um, All right, guys, we are making progress. So I wanted to kind of share with you what I'm going to be bringing just to kind of deal with the um, hot and cool temperatures. Um, first, I will just start with by day. So I have a pair of um, biker shorts with pockets. I have a pair of cropped leggings with pockets. I have a t-shirt and I have a long sleeve shirt. That way, um, let's say we're heading off to the parks early and it's a bit cool. I can, um, wear this long sleeve shirt and then as it gets warmer, I can just pack this in our, uh, park bag to change. Um, next day, same thing, pair of shorts with pockets, pair of, um, leggings with pockets, 
and um, I did two t-shirts, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a couple of long sleeve shirts that I can throw on over. So I've got this um, really pretty fall soft long sleeve uh, jacket or not jacket it's just like a long sleeve shirt that I can um, put on over it and I also have a um, similar one in denim all right Sorry. guys next is snacks so we I like I said we're road tripping um, and we will also have a full kitchen once we get there now don't worry if you're flying you can order your groceries and have them delivered to your resort so, um, but since we're driving and we will have a full kitchen, I'm gonna pack some snacks and things um, just to have in the car on the way down there, as well as um, to have once we get there. One thing that I did wanna mention is if you are not staying in a room category that's called a deluxe studio or a villa, you are going to have a beverage cooler, not a mini refrigerator or a full-size refrigerator. So that is something to definitely keep in mind um, when either bringing groceries or having them delivered to your resort. Beverage coolers only cool to 41 degrees and above. Take it from personal experience, I won't go into that story, but it is not cold enough to keep dairy cold for an extended period of time. Um, some of my clients are breastfeeding mamas, um, pumping mamas. It's not cold enough to keep your breast milk fresh. Um, so you're gonna wanna plan accordingly. Some people will bring backpack coolers, um, what we've done in the past is we will take um, the ice bucket and you know put things in it and then put the ice bucket itself in the beverage cooler, but just kind of plan ahead for that. It's not cold enough to keep uncrust uncrustables um, fresh for a very long period of time. Um, so yeah, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, maybe buy shelf stable yogurt, um, things like that if that's what your kiddos like, um, but definitely I don't recommend the dairy <laughs> in the beverage coolers. So again, just something to keep in mind um, when you're planning your groceries um, for your trip. All right, guys, last but not least, I wanted to walk you through our, our hanging cosmetic bags. So down here in this bottom pouch, I have our shampoo, conditioner, body wash, my face wash, some moisturizer, I use this in the evenings, and then some hair like leave-in treatment. Um, Luckily in our family, we all use the same shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, so that makes it really easy. And I also love these travel loofahs because I can, they're like a dollar, I can leave them there when I'm when I'm done, um, but I just really love having a loofah on vacation. Um, in this next one, I have my contact stuff. Contact lens solution, contact uh, lens case, and then um, these are for my uh, toner. Um, and then up here we've got uh, floss and q-tips um, I've got my uh, razor uh, an extra razor blade um, and eventually my the handle to the razor will go in here as well my toothbrush holder um, eventually my toothbrush will go in here as well tomorrow morning and then our travel size tooth uh, paste um, and then here in this top section I've got my um, dry shampoo band-aids um, some neosporin and then salon paws um, just medicated um, pain patches we never go anywhere without them and then my beloved super goop sheer screen mineral sunscreen all right guys i really think that's everything i wanted to talk about and share with you um, obviously i've got to zip everything up in the morning we'll add the few last minute things and grab the stroller and get on our way to disney um, if you've watched till the very end thank you so much thank you for supporting my channel by watching to the very end if you enjoyed it and you got something out of it, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up before you click away onto um, hopefully one of my other videos. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as a member of our growing YouTube community here. I share Disney travel lifestyle content and I just really believe in finding the joy in every day. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, 
hang around, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you know when I post additional videos and stay tuned because day one at Walt Disney World, our travel day, checking into our resort will be coming soon and I can't wait for you to watch it. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye.